Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Hyundai Ionic 5 virtual showroom. My name is Matt Dunnocky and I'm head of marketing here at Hyundai in the UK. As you've already reserved an Ionic 5 Project 45, this is your opportunity to find out more about this very special edition model. You're part of a very exclusive club. And here at Hyundai UK, we are delighted that you can join us this evening for what promises to be an exciting and informative glimpse into the world of Ionic 5. It's a very exciting time at Hyundai. We're seeing demand for electric cars increase significantly. And in fact, if you look at the industry as a whole, there were three times as many electric cars sold in 2020 as they were, as they were the year before. It's incredible how the market is evolving. But at Hyundai, we're ready for this, and we have been ready for some time. We already have the current Ionic Electric. We have the Kona Electric, and not forgetting, we have the Nexo Hydrogen Fuel Cell Vehicle. So we're ready for this change, and it won't surprise you to hear that progress for humanity is our brand DNA. This year, we'll also see the launch of the Ionic sub-brand, it's this sub-brand that will encapsulate all of our electric vehicles moving forward. And the Ionic 5 is the first car to sit within that sub-brand with, of course, the Project 45 Special Edition sitting at the top of that exclusive range. The model here behind me is the Ionic 5 Ultimate Spec in Gravity Gold. It's a pre-production model that has come over from our colleagues in Europe. It's therefore a left-hand drive vehicle. And it is, in fact, the only Ionic 5 here in the UK at this time. Or at least it will be until we have to return it to Germany at the beginning of next week. So here is how this evening's session is going to work. We're going to spend the next 20 minutes telling you why we believe the Ionic 5 is a truly extraordinary car but we want to make these sessions as interactive as possible. And that's why we've opened the chat functionality within the meeting. So we do encourage you to ask questions, which we will capture throughout the presentation, and then we will answer towards the end of the event. Now, we know you're going to have lots of questions for us tonight, and we promise that we will do our very best to answer as many as we possibly can. If we are unable to answer your specific question within the time frame, we will be issuing a full question and answer sheet before the end of the week, and this will be sent directly to your registered email address. As we did state in the terms and conditions, we do request that you don't record or broadcast tonight's event, but we will be making the event available on the Hyundai UK YouTube channel before the end of the week if you wish to watch it again or share it with your friends and family. So without further ado, let's get started for tonight's events. I'm now going to hand you over to our product experts, Sylvie and James, who are going to introduce you to the very exciting world of Ionic 5. Thank you and enjoy the journey. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sylvie Childs and I'm Ionic 5 Senior Product Manager here in the UK. Good evening, my name is James Batchelor and I'm a journalist working with the Ionic 5 product team. So we're going to spend the next 20 minutes to tell you the story of Ionic 5. We'll talk about the design, of course, inside and out and the inspiration behind it. We'll also spend some time explaining about the new platform that Ionic 5 is built on and what that means in terms of charging, in terms of powertrain, in terms of space. And we'll also spend some time, of course, talking about the high-tech features available on Project 45. We'll, of course, talk in detail about range and charging. We'll explain powertrains, drive and trim and options and share those all-important performance details. Right, let's start with the obvious. Let's start about talking about the design, which I guess would be what attracted you to this car. This car doesn't look like any other cars already available in the market. This car doesn't even look like any other Hyundai. 
Well, actually, that's not quite true because the inspiration behind Ionic 5 is a car that we launched some 45 years ago in 1974, the Pony Coupe. That was our very first passenger car and it completely defined our way of shaping the future and also defined our DNA. Then, in 2019, you might have seen at the International Motor Show in Germany, we unveiled the concept car, the 45, and that gave the name of the special edition we're talking about tonight. So, Ionic 5 actually pays tribute to the past, to the pony, and to that concept car. And it defines, sorry, James, it defines the DNA, our new DNA in a crossover of the future. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Hi and I wanted to push the boundaries of design. They wanted to break the mould with this car. Hi and I wanted a sporty and pure silhouette that could be drawn with just a couple of lines. Hi and I wanted it to be instantly recognisable and stand out in a crowd. Because, unlike other electric products which often share their platforms with combustion engine cars, Ionic 5 is unconstrained from many of the design considerations that apply to traditional cars. And it shows. It's why the traditional grille, now liberated from being just a cooling function, is now a digital sensor zone. That's why the V-shaped bumper has been designed for aerodynamic efficiency. And from the moment you first look at Ionic 5 with High and Eye's first ever clamshell bonnet, the pixel lights and the parametric design, which uses computers to break up the rules of what a car might look like, it is characterized by sleek and sharp lines. It is almost geometric and minimalist in appearance. So let's look at the side profile of the car and what you notice first is probably it looks compact and that's what's made possible with the EGMP, um, the electric global modular platform. So what we can achieve with this new platform is build dedicated battery electric cars. With Ionic 5, we have managed to create this compact look, but yet it's a three meter wheelbase with very short overhang at the rear and at the front. So you have this sporty look, yet very much a lot of room inside. This particular car has a vision roof. Your vehicles will have a solar roof. And what the solar roof does is collects the energy from the sun, of course, and uses it to power um, functions such as the air conditioning or climate, helping extra efficiency for the car. We also have here, just not to disturb the overall shape of the car, auto flush handles. So they will pull in as you drive away. And when you approach the car, they will pull out as you have a smart key. Coming back here, so now we have the 20 inch diamond cut island wheels. So they're very large ILO wheels, but they have this amazing design, fractal design. It just looks amazing, but it also is aerodynamics, just making sure the car is as efficient as can be. Also, you can see all these lines across the bodywork create this real dynamic direction. We call them power metrics dynamics. And as it links the front from the rear, and it's further looking forward with this 45 degree, there is a theme here with 45, angle of the C pillar. Now, at the rear, the sporting cues really do continue. That C, C pillar that Sylvie just mentioned, it slopes inwards at an angle. Now, um, which all add to the Ionic's sporting sensibilities. Now, you might also notice what isn't here. There is no rear wiper at all. Instead, the spoiler has been designed to deflect rainwater away. It also means rear visibility is excellent. Now, the cutting edge parametric LED lights at the front are repeated at the back here. In fact, this is a design theme that you'll see inside and out of this car, emphasizing Project 45's digital modernity. Now, the charging port, the all important charging port, is round at this side. It is flush fitting, neatly hidden, so it doesn't interrupt the overall look uh, and lines of the car. 
Okay, while we are at the back and we'll come back to uh, this, we're going to talk about the boot. So we have said how amazing the car looks in terms of sportiness, but what the EGMP does is it creates a lot of space inside. So what we'll do is we'll illustrate this with the boot. James, would you like to do the honour? Yes, And absolutely. we'll get some luggage in there just to illustrate how much space you can get. So James just put in here a very large suitcase. The capacity of the boot is 527 litres. Should you choose to fold forward the seats, you will get 1,597 litres. So you can get a buggy in there. And you have plenty of spare. You also get the luggage cover to conceal the content of the car. For in terms of flexibility, you have a 60-40 split for the seats. And they also, the rear seats also slide forward by 135 millimeters and they are powered. So the electric uh, seats where you can move them forward and recline them as well. There is more storage available in the car and that's at the very front. So we have a storage under the bonnet where we have freed up the space by not having a combustion engine. On the Project 45, you have 27 litres of space. What it means in there, you can have your charging cable, keeping them away and using this compartment for all your luggage and everything life throws at you. So we have a lot of space here in the car, but now we're going to pass over to James to talk about the interior space. How does it feel as a passenger? Now, the three metre wheelbase has meant this car has the spaciousness of a large passenger car in a mid-sized CUV. Now, rather than think of this car as having a conventional interior, the designer's starting point was to think of it as a smart living space. Now, for starters, it has a completely flat floor, so it immediately feels spacious and open with plenty of room. Now, I... 5 foot 11 and there is tons of space back here loads of knee room loads of headroom as well plenty of space to move around now move is the correct word really because this bench seat actually slides forwards and backwards if you slide it forwards you get more space in the boot if you slide it backwards you get more knee room and on project 45 cars it adjusts electrically now all ionic fives get a universal island um, it gives you access to, of course, lots of storage, but also a wireless charging pad, cup holders and USB-A charging ports. And on Project 45 cars, it slides forwards and backwards as well. Now, if all of this makes this car sound as though it's got a living space, that is intentional. Hyundai has deliberately done that to make this car sort of you can uh, sort of adjust it and configure it to you and your passengers needs. Okay, there are other convention braking features in the car. So if we come back to the front of the car, what you can see is all the heating and, and con air conditioning um, components have been pushed out of the cabin towards the front that's been freed up by the absence of an engine. So you have a slim down cockpit giving you a lot more space for the front passengers. What you have here as well is a capacious glove box, but it's like a drawer. It's really deep and contains a lot of space. What we have here as well is on the seats, if we can go back to the seats, is they've been slimmed down and the weight of them has been cut down to improve or maximize the efficiency of Ionic 5. Those seats are the relaxation seats. They recline fully in terms of the back and they give you extra support here for your legs and they are powered so you can just set it to how it suits you when you can travel um, and relax while you travel if you're passenger not the driver clearly but you can have a power nap while you charge your car when you are out and about so you probably think, OK, if you have pushed all the components out, you still have climate control as standard. But you also have the heated steering wheel and the heated and ventilated front seats and heated 
resets as well. So you have it all there. In terms of temperature settings, you have different options to do so. You can do it through this touch screen and you can do it as well with dynamic voice recognition where you can just tell the car what temperature you want it to be. So with all this in mind, this is not about convention. This is not about just a car. It's about cre creating the most personal space for you. Now, one thing you do expect when you're at home is connectivity. And this car is absolutely brimming with techno technological features in here. Let me just start the car up the ignition so you can see the full display. Now, um, now, this is a great mixture of technical world, digital and analog features in here. All driving controls are close to hand. That's from the start stop button there to the uh, paddles behind the steering wheel. These paddles, in fact, control the brake regeneration. And in the fourth setting, the highest setting, the eye pedal is actually engaged, which that means when you take your foot off the accelerator, the car comes to a complete halt, which is fantastic if you're driving in the city. There's also the column mounted shift by wire controller here. It allows you to put the car into drive, neutral, park and reverse. And just look at it. I mean, doesn't it look absolutely terrific? That is one of my favourite features of the car. Now, all driving information is neatly displayed in front of you. You've got the digital driving cockpit in front of you. And to the right, you've got the infotainment screen, both at 12.3 inches in size. Now, Bluetooth multi-connection also features, which allows multiple devices to be connected. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is standard equipment. And this car comes with the latest version of Blue Link Connected Car Services, which enables you to control many of the aspects the car's features through your smartphone. Now, the Blue Link app displays a lot of the car's information, and that includes the vehicle's range, the battery state and charging times when the car is plugged into your home wall box or into the public charging network. Now, the remote charging feature uh, means you can start and stop the car's charging just from your smartphone. Fantastic feature, that. The, um, you can also schedule the charge as well, so you can schedule your departure time overnight so that when you get into the car, the car is nice and warm, perfect on a cold, chilly morning. And the new cloud-based um, connected routing feature is particularly relevant for Ionic 5. The database has been improved to show more charging stations availability, and it mirrors the network available on the uh, Charge My High and I app. There's also, also AI as well, um, which learns your most frequent routes and the system includes last mile uh, navigation as well, where you can continue the route guidance on your smartphone so you can um, walk the last bits of your journey. Right, well, that's a lot of connectivity and it's a lot of um, features that help you live with an electric car. What I would like to do right now is talk about how the car actually feels and talk more about the central side of Ionic 5. So in terms of ambience, you've got ambient lighting that is obviously standard. Here we've set it to blue, but you can choose up to 60. There's 64 different nuances and colours you can choose. As well here, you've got the premium audio system. So it is both and it features seven speakers and a subwoofer giving you that premium acoustic experience. Now, it's very difficult to show you on camera this bit, but it is absolutely, it feels amazing. So this is soft and beautiful. What you have is it doesn't just look good and feel good. It's all about more eco-friendly materials throughout the cabin. So on this panel, we come back here. This is 100% recyclable um, material. In the seats, the, texture, the different textiles contain um, recycled broken, uh, broken up bottles that have been turned into yarns. We have sugar canes in the carpets. Even the outside, the outside paint is what we refer to as pio paint because we use um, rapeseed based additive as opposed to petroleum based additive. So this is about Ionic giving you your personal space, feeling comfortable, but also it shows our commitment to sustainable, mo 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 excuse me, more sustainable 
uh, mobility. There you go, back to you, James. Now, back in the front, and didn't I say there was a lot to talk about this car? Now, as you'd expect from Hyundai, this car is packed with safety equipment. Now, the new eGMP platform is ultra strong, and it means that in, a, in the event of an impact, the energy is dissipated around the car, around the cabin, so it doesn't affect the people inside. Um, now, this car is also packed with lots of safety equipment, uh, which Hyundai calls Smart Sense safety features, which you are already familiar with, but there are some new and exciting ones on Project 45. Now, the first time in a Hyundai, the Ionic 5 is available with a 44-inch augmented reality heads-up display. This is standard equipment on Project 45, and it effectively turns the windscreen into a huge giant display screen. Now, the system provides driver assist information and safety-related warnings in either AR or normal mode. Added to this is a comprehensive suite of active safety systems. Now, new for this car is the next, le is the next level version of highway driving assist. You'll probably be already familiar with, with this kind of a, uh, system. It, uh, it keeps you and it keeps you from a safe distance from the car in front of you. But now, on this car, it automatically and safely changes you from the from it ch changes lane when you uh, just switch on the indicator. It's very clever stuff. Now there are basically systems for everything in this car, from helping you spot smaller road users such as cyclists and where the car can intervene if necessary, to navigation-based smart cruise control where the car can automatically deaccelerate to below the speed limit when you enter a speed enforcement zone. Now, Project 45 has even more, including surround view monitors, which is fantastic when you are parking, and there's blind spot view monitor, which displays a video of the blind spot in the instrument cluster the moment you flick on the indicator. There is everything you could think of in here. So this car it is packed full of safety equipment and as well of comfort, convenience and a lot of aids. But you're going to say, so what is it like to live with? What is it like to drive? In terms of official drive, you are going to have to rely on people, colleagues of James, to do the reviews for the official drives. Um, but what I can give you is information about the powertrain. So, What's been made uh, possible is our electric global modular platform. It gives us a lot of scope for choices of batteries. But Project 45 is a 73 kilowatt hour battery and is four wheel drive. You have the main electric motor at the back with 155 kilowatt. And then you have the secondary electric motor powering the front wheels as a 70 kilowatt electric motor. Together, combined, they give 605 newton meter of torque. Then you're going to ask me, what is the range? How far can I go in my Project 45? The WLTP range on Ionic 5 Project 45 is 268 miles. For those of you who live with an electric car already, you know this is ample. The statistics in the UK, that is over a year. The average mileage is under 7,000 miles, which means that on a weekly basis is 134. Somebody did the calculation. So, with 268 um, miles, you have plenty. The beauty, though, of Ionic 5 is how it quickly it charges. As a world first, as a mainstream car, it's fitted, it's kitted with an onboard charger of up to 800 volt. So any charging, whether it is at a rapid charger or using a home charger, it will all get speed up. So 10% to 80% in public charging network at a 350 kilowatt will take just under 18 minutes. So if you are uh, in a rush, with just five minutes, you can get 60 miles extra. So this is pretty incredible, just frees up the opportunity to travel wherever, whenever you want. 
We recommend, of course, that you use a wall box at home. Ionic 5 Project 45 comes with the granny cable, the emergency one that you would use if you were to visit relatives and family and they don't have a wall box. And the Type 2 connector for home are both supplied. Now, Hyundai is leading the way in its commitment to electric vehicles, not just by demonstrating the car's fast charging capabilities, but also in the investment it's making in infrastructure. Now, Hyundai Motor Group recently became the latest shareholder to join Ionity. That's a joint venture that builds and operates high power, 350 kilowatt charging points across Europe. Access to this network will be integrated into Hyundai's new pan-European public charging service called Charge My Hyundai. Now, because Project 45 comes with a free two-year subscription to Ionti, this means that Project 45 drivers will be able to enjoy the best and fastest charging network across Europe with access to over 170,000 AC and DC charging points, 15,000 of which are in the UK. Now, thanks to the Charge My Hyundai app, you can pay for charging at different charging points without needing to set up an account with every single one. That is a fantastic feature. Now, and of course, all of the charging points are easily discoverable through the car's sat-nav system. OK, all this talk of powering, now let's move to one of my favourite features on Ionic 5, and that's vehicle to load. So how does that work? So there are two plugs. There's the first we're going to show you. It's the one located in the rear seats in between here. What you can do is you could charge up a laptop. What we'll show you now is we'll take you to the outside with an adapter. You can, pay, you can plug a three pin plug. You could use the granny cable to trickle charge another electric car. So let's have a look. But you've got a surprise there for you. So your CCS port is here. This adapter will be supplied with your Project 45. Because this is a European spec car, we, have not, we don't have a three pin plug, but it will be for the UK, be reassured. And here we have to put a kettle. So for those of you who like to go camping, you can just take all your kit from home and use it when you're out and about. And this is what Ionic 5 is about. It's not just about creating a, a convention car. It's about making this a real personal and convenient experience. So Ionic 5 has the convenience features, the super fast charging and the range to take you to places in comfort and convenience. And if it's performance you're after, well, it has that too. The 73 kilowatt hour all wheel drive uh, powers the Ionic 5 from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 5.2 seconds. And as we all know, driving performance is, all, is more about speed and acceleration. You may need your car to actually uh, pull some loads as well. Ionic 5 has a brake towing capacity of 1,600 kilograms. And when you're using trailer mode, the car takes into account the weight of the trailer and recalculates the electric range accordingly. Absolutely. So this is really the culmination of years of research and development. So Ionic 5 bring together all the cutting edge and technology that Hyundai can bring to market. OK, well, that just leaves me to say thank you very much for joining us at home. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And from me and Sylvie, thank you and see you soon.